Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Vlog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal Channel. But today I'm going to open a fun little box for you. Now, you may or may not know that I have an affiliate link program with a Craft Stash. Craft Stash is a craft supply website, web shop based in the UK where I quite often order craft supplies, obviously. But they also have a subscription service. They actually have two subscription services. One of them is in mainly planning organized such as notebooks and stuff like that and the other one is craft supplies uh, based I should say. Today I'm going to open the craft supply based one. Um, it's called Paper Craft Society and this is the June paper discovery box. Um, it's box number nine if I'm not mistaken and as I said it is a June box. I received this quite late not because they sent it to me late they actually sent it to me a couple of days ago it arrived really really fast here in the Netherlands but um, it arrived late because we kind of uh, got to an agreement quite late uh, so they asked me if I would be okay with uh, being sent a June box still even though it's already July because I had some left over and obviously the content of the box is going to vary each month so <laughs> I didn't mind. Um, before I start actually unboxing this I do want to let you know that I received this box for free. I do not get paid to say anything, do anything, um, show you anything. It's just that I received this box for free and I'm going to do a tutorial or a, a crafting video with it as well. just wanted to let you know that I didn't pay for this but as always I am going to give you my fair and honest opinion because um, authenticity matters to me. Um, this box, the price of this box is uh, 28 uh, pounds, so UK pounds. Um, I would have to look up what that is in dollars and in euros because I am not used to um, working with pounds, but you can order everything through the Croft Sesh website. I will of course link that down below. And um, as I said, I have an affiliate link program with them, which simply means that I would be very grateful for you guys using my links because you do not pay anything extra, but I get a small percentage, a small commission of the items you order. So with all of that aside, I'm going to open this. This is not how it came. It actually came with another big bag around it, but that bag had my personal address on it. So inside the big bag and oh, 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 that's actually really pretty. I'm completely demolishing this. And then inside this envelope is a really pretty box. Oh, it actually has, oh my gosh, I'm definitely going to keep that. It has a Paper Craft Society box. Look at that, it even has gold foiling on it. Kind of sad that's not how they ship it because finding this on your doorstep is a lot more exciting than finding a big plastic bag. But wow, I'm definitely going to reuse that for like, storing craft supplies. It has a gold foiling. I don't know if that changes every month. I also don't know if that's like a hint as to what theme is inside, but we are going to see um, and open this together. As I said, this is the June box. Um, they told me they still had a few available, so definitely check their website to see if it is still available. But otherwise you can also sign up uh, for July's box. You can do two things. You can buy the boxes individually or you can sign up for an actual monthly subscription. For me, this for now is a one-time thing, but if you guys like seeing this, maybe I can arrange to do these more often. A uh, good box for storing things. And I kind of love Velcro. Okay. Okay, this is actually really, really exciting. I love it when the packaging is on point as well. There's a quote on the inside, music is timeless, use this versatile kit to make cards all year around. Oh, does that mean that music is the theme? Oh, so then the box does change every month, I guess, because this is all music notes. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. It comes in a little folder. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this box, oh goodness. I told myself that I wouldn't do too many of these videos. I also told myself that I wouldn't do too many of these boxes because I end up with so much stuff. But how exciting is this? I don't even know which one to look at first. 
this one, I guess. Yay for pink tissue paper. I'm gonna reuse that. It's wrapped with a beautiful Paper Craft Society sticker. Oh, I'm gonna damage that. Yeah, that's damaged. Let's just look at this little package first and then the folder. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. I love music as a theme. It has sequins in a music note shape. I'll take some out so you can see. I don't know what I would do with these, but um, shakers possibly. And also they have a little, I'm gonna explain everything, aren't I? They have a little hole at the top, so you could also put them on a string or a yarn. You could also use them as little charms. They're big enough for that. So they're all these music note, music notes. I think they're all the same, judging by the looks of it. That is cute. I don't normally use black, but as I said, I can also use them as a charm. I think that would be really cute. What is this? This looks like ink. I don't know, is this a brand? Oh, goodness, Vivian, Papercraft Society, obviously. They have their own ink brand. <laughs> I was wondering what brand that was with Papercraft Society. Not normally my color, but that does mean that I don't have like brown, orange and uh, dark brown yet. So these are little ink pads. The only thing is, this is just me thinking out loud because I haven't tested it yet and I do not know. But in general, I do not have such a bad, I do not have a very good experience with like small brand ink pads because they kind of like fade or they're, they turn dry really fast. So I'm gonna have to test these out to see if these are good quality. I'm guessing there's also going to be stamps in here so we can test them out together. And then this looks like embossing powder. What is happening outside? Or so that I can actually tell you what is in here. I'm just like naming stuff myself. We have this little, I'm just gonna take off the sticker, a little a gold embossing powder, quite fine. So that will look really, really nice. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna show you like that. It's just simple gold embossing. I'm not gonna show you that because um, but what you would need for this is a heat embossing tool and then a clear ink pad. And what this does is you, for example, stamp a little music note onto paper, then you sprinkle on some of this powder, um, you wipe away the excess and you emboss it or you set it with a heat tool. A heat tool is basically like a mini little blow dryer that gets very, very hot and then that melts the powder and it turns into a really beautiful gold embossing such as the embossing we saw on the box. So that, I love that. I do not use that often enough, but this will definitely motivate me to do that again. And then I saw this, I don't know who Olga is. Maybe this is Olga. This is a little booklet. Oh my God. Oh yeah, Olga is the, I think the creator. I was wondering who that was. Um, it's never too late to pick up a musical instrument or to make a music themed card. Oh God. And then on the back we have top tips for heat embossing. This one, wipe your card with an anti-static pad prior to stamping to prevent, prevent unwanted speckling. How do I get an anti-static pad? That is good. I'm gonna read all of those because that's what, why I don't do embossing as often because I make a mess. Then this is a whole booklet probably, oh yeah, there we go. This has um, little inspirations in here. I'm not gonna look at it just yet because I think it's going to have spoilers in it. So we will save that for last. Oh, this kit has everything. We have co coordinating cardstock. I love how everything is like individually wrapped. And also I love that this is wrapped with paper and not with plastic because we do not need extra plastic in our lives. This is again orange and black. I'm not a big fan of these colors because it reminds me of Halloween. I'm not a fan of Halloween. I'm sorry, please don't kill me. But gold is exciting. So I don't know if I would use these specifically, especially because if you have like these ink pads that wouldn't work on black. But if I look at the black cardstock Apart from everything, I have been looking for this because I also have a white jelly roll that would re look really, really cool on this. So if I take this away, I'm happy to get some black cardstock. Don't know yet what I'm going to do with the orange because I am 
not a big fan, sorry. And the gold is always handy, especially for things like die cutting. But obviously um, these could also be used together with all of these items to create a beautiful little card. Then, should I just kind of move this aside? Can I? No, it's too much. Oh, this is so exciting. I didn't, like when I agreed to doing this, I kind of asked for it myself. It, okay, there's a funny story behind this. I was actually asked to do an unboxing of the planner, kind of the other subscription box they have, like the organizer, organizing subscription. And I signed up to do that because I always kind of love notebooks, even though I should definitely not get any more. And then I never heard back, like I gave them my address and it never arrived. So I contacted them to say, hey, I was just wondering, is that still happening? And then they asked me, do you want the planner or do you want the craft supplies one? And then I was like, heck yes, I'm gonna choose it. If I can choose, I'm definitely gonna go for this one. So I didn't actually know that it would be this exciting because I always try to get as little spoilers as possible so i don't look at the pictures i don't look at the table of content because i really want to like open this with you guys and get my first impression this is a happy exciting little i'm sorry for my excitedness by the way i know a lot of you are going to be annoyed by me again that's why i now have a disclaimer in my video saying chatty pen pal channel because that's just who i am but this just makes me really really happy we have a little folder i'm sorry for saying that a thousand times and it really says by Olga Direc Directorenko. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Maybe someone can tell me. And then, whoa. Oh, this is so nice. Look at that. I'm going to reuse that. Definitely. It has Velcro again. Okay. Okay. Like, if I would have only gotten the box without contents and the folder, I would have already been happy. Okay. I'm just going to look at one thing at a time. This one sadly is wrapped with plastic, although it does make for a nice look. It would have also been fine with me if this would have just been in there without the plastic because it's protected by the folder. But that is a choice they made. And this looks like different cardstock again. Oh, different. No, this is a little bit thinner paper. Like this is really cardstock, I think. This is thicker or not? I don't actually know. Anyway, this is printed paper. So we have this. This is the design that's also on the box. Um, two of each, single-sided. Quite nice little florals, always good in my opinion. We have these, which is uh, music notes and coffee stains, which will actually look really nice with a vintage something something. We have, ooh, vintage looking music note paper. I know so many people are going to be really happy with that because finding actual vintage music note paper is quite hard. That's absolutely gorgeous. Then we have this, which is quite exciting. It's um, like a wood design paper and that is actually such a nice background for little projects. That's actually my favorite so far, I know it's odd. And then even better, we have some of vellum and this feels... I don't know, but it feels like actual vellum and it, it's so nice and smooth. We have this design, I'll show you on top of the wood grain so you can see it better. This design has music notes, duh. And this is the way it looks and this is without and this is with, so it's just clear kind of vellum. And then we have this design, why did I put that down, which has uh, like a swirl almost like a rainbow road <laughs> like design. Ooh, I don't know what I would use that for, but it's really pretty. Oh, I could have also shown you on top of the back. Maybe that helps. That's the one, that's the other one. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is so pretty. So these are all of the papers in here. I love that it comes in its own little folder so that you can just keep everything together. I like that a lot. Next up. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. With this kit, you can make it pleasing to the eye as well. Whether you make a card or make music, never stop playing. <laughs> oh my God, it has clear stamps. 
quite large clear stands of all sorts. Of, I'll put it on the white background. All sorts of instruments. All sorts of instruments, basically. <laughs> and then we have uh, a note of thanks, happy birthday, a note to wish you well, and a note of love. And some music notes. Cute. That is cute. That is cute. I'm really, really, I have to admit, I'm really going to have to think. Think what I can, like, obviously the theme is going to be music, but what I can make with this. Because it's, I've never done a music themed Happy Mail. But we're going to make it work. And then we have an embossing folder, which is another thing I have a few of, but rarely use. But this will be kind of cool to try out. It's an embossing folder for those of you who don't know. Um, you put a piece of paper, you put a piece of paper in between, like you sandwich it, then you roll it through a die cutting machine and then it kind of, uh, it doesn't cut it out, it just presses the design into the paper. So you get kind of a 3D effect. So if you put this one in, it'll kind of create the 3D piano or it will cre create the 3D little music notes. That's pretty cool actually. So you can make like little 3D cards, like a card with a little imprint on it, a little impression. And then even cooler, we have a bunch of die cuts, a bunch of die cuts. So are these matching with, yes, they are matching with the, or not, not necessarily. Let me see if there's anything, no, these are different from the stamps, which is okay, that's okay, that's okay. That's okay, you can just do this, like sometimes you will have a matching set um, so that you can, for example, cut out these uh, music notes and then you can stamp them in a different color if you like. But these are completely different, which is also okay. So what we have, oh wait, but it does match as in you can die cut the little guitar and then you can stamp the strings on it. Aha, I get it. And what does this say? Oh, I cannot read in, I cannot read backwards. What does this say? Just a note. Okay, this one. Yeah, this is just a note. Hmm. So it's not matching, but it, it's like a, a second set of things you can die cut. So we have all sorts of things. We have um, music notes. We have the guitar. We have this m big music note circle thingy, which will be quite cute as a background. We even have little roses. I think these are roses or little flowers. Anyway, we've got this little music note section and we also have this i really hope the light doesn't reflect on it too badly but this little corner piece that you could put on a card quite nice i'm really gonna have to think about how to incorporate all of that because i'm obviously going to use it for a video as well but that will be a really fun challenge that will be a really really fun challenge and now a last thing Oh wait, I also want to test the inks really fast. Just really fast, going to grab some paper. Okay, I must managed to get that all over the stamping block. Another pro tip is don't stamp your stamps onto the ink pad, stamp the ink pad onto the stamps. I don't know why, but that just works better. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of what I was afraid of. That was kind of what I was afraid of. The ink doesn't react well with the clear stamps. I'll grab a bigger stamp to show you. Yeah, what kind of happens is it gets is it called blotchy? I don't know. Like it's not equal. The ink isn't divided equal because it doesn't like the, the rubber of the clear stamps. See, you can see that it's a little bit divided. It's a little bit spotty. That might also make, oh, the. Dark brown is a lot better, actually. The dark brown is less spotty, I don't know. It could also be the clear stamps. So I'm also going to test it with my normal ink. 
it out yet, but I've already tipped that if your uh, clear stamps do not give you a smooth, equal image, you could lightly sand them. I, I, someone has to tell me if that works, but you have to like lightly sand them so that it isn't as smooth anymore. This is a regular a black. Oh yeah. No, I definitely think. No, it's definitely the stamps. No, okay. Okay, the bottom one is my own ink and it does, it, it, it. Okay, so I don't know if anyone cares about this, but the bottom one is my regular ink, which I normally don't have any problems with and it's also spotty. So I think it's not the ink, I think it's the stamps. So I'm going to try, not now, but when I have some time, I'll try um, lightly sanding it or I'm going to Google it to see if I can make that better because I don't, it's not that bad. It just annoys me when it's like super spotty. So I will do that um, to test that out. So it's not necessarily the ink. Okay, it's good that we tested it with the black uh, ink as well because that shows us that it's probably the stamps. Hmm. <laughs> um, so this is the a little, ooh, they have, sh okay, this is a little booklet that has a lot of inspiration in it, so I'm not going to take you through every page, but I, maybe, table of content, like, uh, what's in the box. Olga says, I love all the, okay, I'm not going to read that. So this is everything that is in the box, I already showed you everything, obviously, but let's just look at the ink pads. It says three mini ink pads. Use these coordinating ink pads. <laughs> oh, we show you how to get the best out of them on page 22. Okay, so there's a little section about the ink pads. It just says three mini ink pads, so I don't know what type of ink it is, but it says uh, we show you how to get the best out of them on page 22. Stamp to the music. Oh, even on their card, it's sporty. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, oh, that is cool. That is cool. So they also have some tips to use the ink pads as like watercolor. So then you would stamp this onto some plastic and then pick it up with a paintbrush. And they also say that you can swatch them to create this kind of look. That is always scary. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. So you could also do that. So that in combination with something cool. That's cool. So this booklet has a, a lot of information. Everything I just told you. We even have video tutorials and more on the website. That's really cool. Pattern papers and two sheets of printed vellum. Yep, it's actual vellum. Really cool. They show you how to make a shaker. Ah, I love shakers. Ooh, oh, that is smart. I've never done that. They use uh, a shaker with, with what? They use a shaker with acetate, with acetate. And then the background, in the background, they use the vellum. And that gives a really, really nice look. So as a vellum as a background to the shaker. And here they've used the vellum as a background in this little frame. Oh, that is clever. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is funny. They even There's even a template you can download for mating, making, not mating, for making a grand piano. Uh -huh. Oh, and another template. So even if you're not like completely satisfied, even if all this stuff in the box itself and then there's a lot more you can watch and download online. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so that is everything in this box. The only thing it doesn't give you is how much every item would cost you individually. Sometimes, for example, the paper gang shows you how much every item costs so that you know how much you saved by buying the box. Um, so this is everything in this box. 
I have to say, I'm quite pleased. Color scheme, not normally my thing. Orange is not my thing, but the theme, I absolutely love that. Gives me a great excuse to create a music themed meal. I'm looking forward to working with this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this box. And if you decide to subscribe, don't forget to use my link down below. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Have a lovely day. Bye.